Alright guys, and welcome back to more Disgaea 5 Alliance of Vengeance. And you can probably already tell, once again, by the playtime being just higher than the previous part, I spent some time off camera farming and grinding the character's abilities, abilities, as well as getting the base up to date. So as you'll notice really quick, You'll notice something new about Kilia, as well as your boy Red Magnus. He's actually blue. And one of the coolest things about this game, the strategy assembly allows you to just do so much. The strategy assembly lets you change the subclass, change colors. We can make him like white haired, we can give him red hair. He looks cool with this. I honestly think he looks pretty cool like that. And then he's got this. He looks pretty dope. He looks kind of like Leon from uh, Final Fantasy VIII. But anyway, I think what we're going to do is actually change his color to extra color too. And now what we want to do, get better items at the store. Maybe we do want to do that. But we can also change the controlled character. So we can actually walk around with Red Magnus. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to walk around with Red Magnus and... Uh, Let's, let's give him some cronies. Let's give him Shingo and Itsuki. He's gonna be walking around with some cronies here. AKA jabronis. That's what we're gonna call him. So we also got some other stuff we can do here. Uh, hog all the mana. We don't want to do that for Kilia. We don't want to do that. We want to give everybody their uh, a fair share of mana. Because we need mana to be able to boost abilities and learn new abilities. So. And also, I think... Yeah, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep him on the undead class. I want him to be able to learn that ability, because I believe if you master a subclass, you get access to that ability. And the uh, undead ability is pretty decent because it allows you to recover a HP for attacking a unit. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, Serafina actually made her a maid. Yeah, I did make her a maid. And as you can see her hairstyle is different or her colors are different. And uh, that's pretty much it. And now we get Red Magnus. Also, we can jump four, t no, three times. Uh, uh, got the moonwalk from One Piece, baby. <laughs> Yo, Red Magnus was the original freaking uh, trainer for the CP9 folk. <laughs> oh, flipping, oh, flip mode, <laughs> flip mode. <laughs> All right, but anyway. That's one of the things I did off camera. Awesome. Another thing was power up the squad. I think I mentioned that. I powered up the squad. I actually powered up the capture squad to a high level so I can have more members to be able to capture and also boost the efficiency of uh, capturing. So right now, Serafina can actually just walk up to a random person on the battlefield if they're like 10 levels lower than her, I guess you can say. She can just immediately capture the, the unit. I was able to capture all these dudes without even weakening them. So we want to hand these guys in, but we're actually going to hand those guys in to maybe a different team that needs it. Level 50, 30, 5, 10, 15, 20. Alright, I guess we'll level up the giant killer squad, which is a really ridiculously good freaking uh, squad to have Red Magnus in. Because I get I hooked up Red Magnus. Red Magnus is OP. So there we go. We just leveled up the giant killer squad. Now we can have one more unit in there. We're just gonna keep powering that up. We also got the foot soldier squad as well as the Perny squad unlocked. And then we have life support. And then like apparently like you unlock more squads as you like meet certain combat conditions throughout the uh through progressing through the game, which is pretty cool. So what I wanna do here is just progress through the game. Cause I've already decked out like some of my characters like Kilia, Serafina. Dude has been decked out, Firefish Jude, Narika, Farah. So right now these guys are pretty much are going to be leading uh, the the pack when we come to new levels, I guess you could say. Let's fix you up. So right now we're gonna heal everybody. And before we leave, what we're gonna do is talk with uh, we're actually gonna talk with Crystal and Serafina. It seems to be a popular misconception, so let me make this clear. I'm not in love with Sir Kilia, so would you all stop spreading baseless rumors? 
There's no need to be embarrassed, Sarah. No matter how you look at it, it's super obvious that you like Kilia. I would have to agree with them. I still can't believe a demon could fall in love, but... <laughs> what is it that you like about him? His face, voice, everything? <laughs> He's simply a monkey who doesn't comprehend anything. All men are destined to be my servant. Sir Killy is just one of them. If I say like I'm interested in Sir Killy, it's just the act I put on. <laughs> just an act I put on to control men. It's just an act. Very well, let's just leave it at that. Alright. I'm glad you all understand now. So what is it that you like about Kilia? <laughs> He tried to put her into an infinite loop. <laughs> Alright, there we go. So Killia has an event as well as a printy. That's interesting. What the hell does... What, what can we find uh, Killia? Before we head out to uh, do more battles, I want to find Killia. Is he up here? No, nope, he's not up here, is he? Some people are... You can find some characters up here sometimes. Woo! That's actually messing with my eyes. <laughs> I need to slow that down right now. That was messing with my eyes. <laughs> There's a printy right here. Sir Killy, I feel bad for you. Since Madam Serafina has her eyes on you, dude. <laughs> she treats you rough, dude. If you get on her nerves, she'll draw her guns on you right away. You could never have enough lives. I'm not gonna say anything bad. You should just secretly escape for your own sake, dude. You don't have to worry. I can protect myself. Alright, dude. Don't say I didn't warn you. What about you guys? This is just a job. How can you put up with her? <laughs> well, the pay is bad, but there aren't many job opportunities at a time like this, dude. <laughs> Besides, Madam Serafina does have a nice side, too. Or, she does have a nice side, too, dude. Sometimes she gives us a smelt with the eggs instead of the usual one sardine, dude. Madam Serafina said that if we take good care of them, the eggs will hatch into a couple thousand smelt. What? I hope they grow safely. It right, looks like we did everything here. I guess I have no choice. I have no objections to forming a rebel army, but I'm greatly concerned about its members. We should institute a written exam to find out whether a demon is qualified to be in the rebel army. Aren't you just trying to screen out Reg Magnus? <laughs> Question number one. Swear your allegiance to Princess Overlord Serafina, who has the most wealth and beauty. Actually, I don't think anyone's going to pass your test. Oh, God, Serafina. All right, let's go, jabronis. We're about to go enter the new... Oh, wait. Before we do anything, we should be opening these chests. We got some slippers. We got a forehead flicker. Ooh. Look at that, I love that flip jump. That flip jump is awesome. I think there was another chest down here. Yep. Bardashi. Bardish? What the hell? What the hell is that? I think there may have been another chest down here, so let's go get that really quick. And I was wrong. Right, here we go, guys. Where would you like to go, dude? We're about to pretty much advance to Poisoned Ice, a hidden resort area. It has oceans of poisons and beaches of bone. Oh. Current Netherworld effect. Non-flyers in the sea get poisoned at the end of the turn. So we got to worry about area of effects now. That's interesting. Did you hear the rumor? I sure did. If you don't wash your hands for a whole year straight, you'll win the Golden Glove Award, right? My bad, guys. I completely forgot to turn off my TV. I didn't notice there was an echo going on. <laughs> completely forgot there was an echo. No, you don't. And not that rumor. The rumor about the war with the Lost. Oh, yeah. I heard that, too. The Lost are finally invading Poison Dice. Yeah, exactly! Our next door neighbors, Spirit and Termit, have been destroyed. And now it's our turn. Damn! Th they're here! It's the Lost! 
Run! <laughs> they came rolling deep. You got some poison ivy looking girl. You got some some dude in a tanuki suit. <laughs> ah, they're coming from this side too. We're done for. Hey, we're not with the lost. Huh? Not the lost? We are the rebel army. Please calm down. We'll take care of the lost. The rebel army? Never heard of it. You guys are probably just a bunch of weaklings. So it looks like for cutscenes, they actually change uh, Red Magnus's colors. They change everybody's colors back to normal for like the cutscenes, but if it's like gameplay stuff, I guess they remain the change color. You can either obey us or die. We'll let you decide. <laughs> we'll make you suffer. Is that not right, Sir Kilia? He just maxes. <laughs> Eat again. My, Sir Kilia, you're always hungry. Stop right there, you dastardly lost! Is it broken? One after another. Who is it now? Where are. Oops, push the button on accident. A silver white shadow that creates a storm. The raging Gale Overlord, Zerokin, is here! Yeah! He's literally Bang Shishigami and Chip Xanath in one. You again? What do you want this time? What do you want this time? I wasn't able to save you guys from the Lost last time, so I came to save you. <laughs> I don't think we need saving. Bruh. <laughs> you weren't able to save us, so you've come to save us? What's this kid talking about? He clearly appears to suffer from some brain defects. How unfortunate. May the Lord... <laughs> you went to all the trouble of following us? How thoughtful of you. Shut up! It's my duty to fight the lost! Stand down, amateurs! What should we do, Killian? He may be a universe-endangering ignoramus, but he isn't an enemy. Letting him join our rebel army may be a viable option, but... You can make all the decisions regarding the rebel army. My only objective is Void Dark. Very well. Then let us ignore Zerokin and concentrate on our battle with the Lost. Alright, here we go. Time to fight. So, this is our first map on a... I guess an area where you have to watch out for like side effects now. The ocean looks really poisonous. I don't think it's wise to go in. If you end your turn in the ocean, you will be poisoned, so be careful. Tutorial, Netherworld effects. Like this ocean, Netherworlds have their own special effects. These are called Netherworld effects. To check if the Netherworld has an effect, press triangle to display the active effect. If you can take advantage of the uh, Netherworld effect battles, we'll go smoothly. Let's throw these jabronis into the ocean. Damn right. Netherworld effect, see if poison is active. Now, one of the cool things I don't think I mentioned is off camera, I did like one or two quests and I was able to obtain a new character through these quests. His name is Logan. And this dude is seriously OD when it comes to being able to toss your units around the map. He can throw two times a turn if he doesn't move or take any action. He can throw them extremely far which is absolutely ridiculous and he, he's like very low level right now but he's very useful uh, he's very useful to get characters around the map so what we're gonna do is bring Logan out here he's gonna become very useful here so what we're gonna do what are these guys weak against they're weak against ooh Mudkip's donkeys is gonna kick some ass up here Mudkip donkeys and maybe someone with a spear or a spear excuse me I said a spear so I have 20 units, which is uh, pretty funny. What we're gonna do here... Oh yeah, I wanna see something cool? <laughs> you guys wanna see something really cool? You guys, let's super go! Yo, Red Magnus comes out immediately big as hell. He starts off like that for three turns as soon as he comes out the base. Because I put him... He's the leader of the, um, the giant squad or whatever. And anybody that's a part of the giant squad... Once they... 
come out of the base, they are giant for three turns, which is pretty awesome. So what we're gonna do is actually have Kilia. I gave Kilia a sword because he looks pretty dope with a sword. And we're gonna throw him up here. Your boy is gonna giant press every. We got, she, he's gonna giant press Jean, Velma, Cameron, Daphne, Velma, all of them. They're done. They're done. So what we wanna do now, I suppose, is have. Mudkip Donkey's come out. I can do this. Mudkip Donkey's gonna come up here and ice these guys. He can handle both of them if he wants, but we're actually gonna bring out Aria. Aria has like maybe one or two skills, but she has some really good skills. I actually leveled her up by I made her use items on herself like several times. I don't know how like many times I had to use it, but she learned a really good skill. That's called Clinical Trial, and I'll show you what that does in a second, but right now, we're just gonna get her out here. Better yet, Logan might want to come out here first. I'll begin the fight! Logan's gonna come out here. He's just gonna be tossing. He's just gonna be tossing everybody, pretty much. I'm scared. Alright, so now what we're gonna do. We're actually gonna use clinical trial on your girl, Farah. Hey! so broke! So with clinical trial, basically it turns them into a giant, and then of course their stats get multiplied by three or two, I think. And on top of that, Red Magnus. He has a really good skill, Evility. He has Super Crush, which decreases the defense of targets of the target unit during an attack by 50%. And then on top of that, he has Muscle Power, when attacking normally increase attack by 30%, which is absurd. So if he attack, if he attacks you physically, if he attacks an individual unit, they're pretty much dead. <laughs> Especially when he's like supercharged like that, you're done. But anyway, as you can see, Logan. Logan can throw extremely freaking far. Whoa! What we're gonna do, we wanna get on top of this beach ball so we don't hurt ourselves. And now what we wanna do next, I think what we wanna do is actually have Narika. Narika's gonna come out. She's a healer. Five Fish Dude's coming out. Comic Punishment, huh? If someone pushes you, you push back twice as hard. I never used that before. Maybe I used it like twice, but I never really got to see the action. I think it's like a counter from Pokemon, where if they hit you, you hit them back automatically and you do more damage. So what we're going to do here is triple strike. These guys are weak against, no, they're uh, strong against physicals. I need more magicians. I have a lack of magicians in my team. So what I really want to do here, I got Minervi. Minervi. There we go. Maybe Doppelganger. There we go. Crystal's coming out. And let's rock it out. Chocolate cake? Is that what she said? Good stuff. Joanne. We can probably kill this dude right here. With that Naruka? Yeah, we probably could. I'm actually gonna move him. You know what? Yeah, I'm actually gonna move both of them on top of each other. They should be able to kill dude. Together. I'm doing this. Yeah. Nope, didn't do enough. I thought they would be able to kill him. Uh, yeah. Oh wait, never mind. Support. <laughs> like, oh, you didn't kill him. I got you. <laughs> that was perfect. All right. I guess what we'll do is bring out Serafina. All right. And what we're gonna do here is actually have Logan move up and toss both of these guys. 
One, two, three, four, five. So Minerva has to get out the way. Here we go. End our turn. Yeah. Oh, get stuck, Zero Kin. Zero Kin. I keep calling him Zero Kin. Here I go. Here I go. Ooh. I'm getting stones chucked at him. <laughs> oh, I'm so cute. Psych. <laughs> oh God. So Red Magnus, he can actually move up right here. He should be able to hit them all with Giant Press. Or would I have to move like right here? Yep, there we go. He's getting them all. So Minerva is actually gonna move like right there, I guess. And what we're gonna do is have Logan lift these two. I guess they can go all the way over here. Naraka is gonna toss your boy over here. He's gonna move up and heal. He's gonna heal uh, Zerokin. Zerokin! Bro, you need some help? There you go. How to back up my bro. Now she can actually walk back here for a second. I guess I should advance her up. There we go. So we're still being safe here. Um, I'm going to move her on to the poison and I'm going to have her attack him from the back so we can kill this dude. Yeah, she's gonna get poisoned, but she can take it. She got a lot of health. So that's what we're gonna do there. Kilia and uh, these two are gonna move up. Um, we, we pretty much don't need to do anything else with those two. These guys did their job. They already put in work. Mudkip Donkeys and Minerva. So what we want them to do is she should she should be safe. She's not in the poison. Alright, let's see what they do. He should be able to kill. Nice. Exorcist has been mastered. Diabolist has been attained. Good stuff. Punched dude in the back for massive amounts of damage. <laughs> he got punched in his back, yo. It was no love for dude. So Crystal, um, no, Farah should be able to, yeah. Without a doubt, Farah should be able to uh, take out the rest of these cronies. Crystal's playing backup for Zerokin. Uh. Damn, he took plenty of damage. Oh, nice. Revenge, huh? You so we want to go ahead and overload. Might as well. Oh, Zerokin was a part of that. Here we go. So that's, that's active for three turns, I think? I'm not sure. He can easily kill her, but I want to heal. No, it, no, Naruka can do that. Naruka can heal Zerokin. So I'm actually going to attack. Naruka is going to move up onto the beach volleyball. Going to heal Zerokin. I'm actually going to equip my kit. No, when you're a giant, you cannot, you cannot for the life of you use a weapon. But I can giant press this dude. He might die from it. <laughs> I think we won. Yeah, we won. The Giants over... The Giants are OD, man. The Giants make this game free. Well, the early game, at least. So far, the Giants are just breaking this game. <laughs> Get over there. Damn, he launched the hell out of your boy. Here we go. This should be it. Hey! Leave it to me. How about it? See? Oh! <laughs> That's OD. That is OD. All right, destroy bonus four thousand one hundred hell. We have Magnus put in the work, Pharaoh put in the work, Minerva put in the work. All right, I got extra money there because Seraphina has a ability equipped 
that allows her to obtain money depending on her max level at the end of battle. If she's on the map at the end of battle, she gets money basically. You didn't even pop off at all. Like she didn't even get a shot off in that fight. Well, maybe she did now. <laughs> you ain't Not Dante. Only am I rich, intelligent, and beautiful, but I also possess excellent battle skills. She thinks she's Dante right now. My, I'm terrified of how good I am. Don't let your guard down. Behind you. What? Watch out! Damn it! Secret technique! Annihilation fireball! They're both doing it. <laughs> what? He did it from his foot. Uh, this guy has the same move! What the hell? Again, my life has been saved by Sir Kilia. You may make claims to the contrary, but in the end, you are thinking about me. <laughs> Serafina. You... that move! Where did you learn it? <laughs> so what if he used the same move? Sir Kilia fought and risked his life to save me. Sir Kilia is mine. If you dare try to accuse him of anything, I won't forgive you. What? <laughs> you thief! It won't take me long to discover the truth. Discover the truth, huh? I'll consider that a declaration of war. Okay. Thief, huh? What's he talking about, Kilia? Is it that rare of a skill? I don't know. If even that kid can use it, it can't be that big of a deal. 